So Melanie here with Courtney and My our name's Courtney. kids come to Lethbridge Gymnastics Academy and absolutely love it. They have been learning so many awesome things. But before our kids were in gymnastics here, I had noticed that they had an amazing adult gymnastics class, which I was always intimidated to do because I can't even touch my toes. And now that the kids have gone here and I've got to know Andrea and Jamie a lot more, I was thinking, you know what? I'm gonna make Courtney do this. Because this it's is a terrible idea. bad enough for me, but it's even worse for him. So we're here with an awesome local business and Jamie, Coach Jamie is going to teach us some type of gymnastics skills. I'm not sure what that's going to look I like. I feel like I only heard about this today. <laughs> He's heard about this for months. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna pass over to Andrea. She's one of the owners of Lethbridge Gymnastics Academy to tell us a little bit more about what they do here and some camps coming up and all the awesomeness. And then we're going to do some gymnastics. All right, Andrea, tell us about the adult gymnastics class. So our principle here is that we are passionate about building physical literacy for life. And we often lose that as adults. So we want to get adults going upside down again, building that upper body strength and having fun. Because sometimes people think that going to the gym, uh, you know, a, a typical gym is just like lifting weights and, and that sort of thing. But it's incredible things that you can do in a gymnastics environment. And Even for old guys that used to be athletes? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. How often do you do the adult gymnastics? We have one class a week running right now, and then once uh, things get a little bit more back to normal, we usually run it twice a week. Fridays, 6.30 6 30. to 8. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm quite excited. I know that uh, somersault makes me dizzy. I can't touch my toes. Uh, unlike my athlete husband here who could probably do an iron cross. Can you? No? Yes. <laughs> Jamie can do an iron cross. Maybe he'll do one for us. He'll totally school we'll us and all we'll that. I was young. There's <laughs> 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 some pretty big expectations here. Yeah. I'm I've working at touching my toes again. Uh -oh. Muscle up. Muscle up is the goal today for Courtney. Muscle up, okay. There we go. Awesome. Well, let's get at it. Excited to try it out. So what did we learn here today, Melanie? I learned that I don't suck as much as I thought I would, that it was really enjoyable. It actually, I'm gonna start doing this. They have it Monday night, so I'm gonna start Friday. coming. Friday night, sorry, Friday nights. I'm gonna come Friday nights. And I've learned that there's a lot of functional mobility and strength that is incredibly helpful. And I also learned that I can hold a tuck longer than you. We're, I'm not surprised by that. I'm. Uh... I think I was most impressed to learn that I have some flexibility and uh, my takeaway is that uh, I'm probably gonna be maybe five more years free of a wheelchair with these folks. Nice help. So thanks a lot awesome. for having us. Thank yeah, you, this is thank fun. you for coming, this was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was fun, yeah. this was brilliant. Yeah, maybe I can out cartwheel my boys. I know yeah. that I can out talk them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Got your pullover too. Yeah, true yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually learned That's a cartwheel a too, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know how it looked. I'm keen to see this video actually to see how that cartwheel actually looked. Yeah, so thanks for having us. This was an absolute blast. Thank yeah. you so wonderful much people. For yeah, thanks for guys coming. for coming.